Hey guys, nice to see you. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making Calabri style Caesar salad. Um, been a while since I've been with you guys. We've had a lot of craziness in life. Uh, Sam Maluch College and Mikey and everybody. Uh, we've been very busy down here in Florida. So let's start out. Let's go right to the romaine lettuce. We get the romaine hearts guys. Uh, you get three hearts in a package here. Uh, Foxy non-sponsored but pretty good pretty good stuff. Uh, we check it first guys. Let's make sure that we don't uh, you know have it uh, dirty in here. Usually it's not too bad. You can just wipe through with a paper towel which I'll grab real quick and uh, we're just going to run through here real quick with a paper towel on these and get them cleaned up. Alright just pull them right off. They come right off the leaves. Alright. Snap those off. Rub them down there and make sure they're good. This looks, like, this looks really, really clean, so I don't like to go too crazy soaking it down. All right, so here's what I do, guys. All right, I'll take this lettuce, I'll put it into a pile. As you see, I stacked it up neatly. All right, and then I, what I do is I come across one, two, and three times. I come across, then I fold it back up. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll take those ends off. They're a little a little rough so you can clean those off get rid of those and then boom cut them the opposite direction okay beautiful gonna go into the bowl with that wonderfulness boom you got some dark leaves some light leaves flip it around of course your hands are perfectly washed like Papa V we keep them clean here all right and let's get all that in the romaine lettuce now listen guys, if you want to, this is a Caesar, but I'm going to mix some other things in here as well. I kind of go a little crazy. I don't just like to have romaine lettuce. I'll put a little spinach. I'll mix in uh, some, maybe some carrots sometimes, uh, tomatoes. Um, I, I don't like just a plain uh, Caesar salad per se. So I like it a little kicked up a notch. You know, you'll see here we've got a... Cabot uh, shreds uh, uh, cheese, which I love. I know it's usually Parmesan, but I like to seriously sharp shred it in there. And then we'll do some Parmesan as well. And then we've got a, a we found that this great value creamy Caesar salad uh, dressing is really good, so we use that one. All right. In another video, I'll show you how you can whisk it up from scratch um, if you want to do a light uh, Caesar yourself. So, all right. So let's finish up what we're doing here. We're going to cut this up here. We've already cut it both directions here. We're just going to cut the rest of this up. And we're going to throw that in the bowl. Looking good, looking good, guys. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to come in here with our tomatoes. Because I like to have tomatoes in my Caesar salad. So if you don't like tomatoes, yeah, plum tomatoes, guys. I like the plum tomatoes. Or they're called Roma tomatoes as well so i'm going to come down here we're going to just come down right alongside of that little nut there and we're going to clean that right out of there right boom gone goodbye and i like mine chunky style so i'm going to cut that in half one more time on both of them all right and then we're going to just come across like this all right that's going to be just nice little chunks satisfying satisfying chunks it's a mouthful we're going to throw them right in there guys we're going to do another one once again they're cleaned plum roma tomatoes come down from the top slice it straight down then you come in and get rid of that little knob right there all right because nobody wants to chew on that okay go in half again and again right and then just go this way crisscross them and you've got yourself beautiful bite size pieces of fresh Florida Roma tomatoes. I'm pretty sure these are grown locally here, guys. All right, now that we've got that done, I'm going to come in here real simple, guys. You know what? I might even step it up a notch. I don't know if you noticed, but I've got strawberries coming out of my eyeballs over here. So what I'm thinking is, honestly, why don't we go ahead and take a couple of these strawberries we're just going to, they've already been cleaned, we're just going to take the tops off of those berries, flip them out, cut the tops, flip them out, all right, and we're going to flip them out beautifully, all right, cut them down the middle, flip it up, cut it down the middle, all right, then we're going to get a little fancy here for you guys because 
Pizza V says you guys like to see a little knife work, so we'll come in here and just do a quick little. And that takes care of that. All right? We did it one way, now we're coming down the other way. Look at that. Did you get that, guys? Did you catch that, Mikey? Yes. Okay. That's how we do it, guys. Now, it's a little, they call that Julianne strips. They're just a little bit fancy. A little more red into our salad, right? We're going to come in here with a little bit more red. Like I said, you could add carrots, you could add spinach. I like to do a little sweet and salty with that salty vinegary pop on the Caesar salad with the sweetness of the strawberries. It's just going to be a winner. All right, now I'm going to come in just with a few of dried cranberries. Okay, we're going to come in just a couple of dried cranberries on top, guys. Listen, you do what you like on this. You don't have to put the cranberries if you don't like cranberries. Just stick with, uh, you know, what you like. All right, we're going to do a few cranberries. Now let's come in with some croutons. Now, if you got some old bread, you can make your own croutons, but... For 99 cents, you can get these beautiful croutons at the store, and you don't have to bother with it. Unless you have some old bread you want to season up and, and dry up with, put some olive oil and seasoning on it, toast it in the oven. But that's perfect right there. And then, guys, we're going to top it off a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit of Parmesan, because they can always do it while they have it on their plate. And we're going to come in here with your seriously sharp cheddar. And boy, I'll tell you guys, when you taste this, the pop that's going to give you with that dressing and that seriously sharp cheddar and everything that's on here, oh, it is absolutely a delicious combination. All right, that's it, guys. That's basically what we're looking at here is our beautiful calorie style Caesar salad plain. Now, what you can also do with this, guys, You've got grilled chicken or you've got breaded chicken. You throw that right on top as well. Make it a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Very healthy, delicious, and nutritious. Take a look at that.